Hello everyone, it's me, Skin Glow Now Afro, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I know I've been gone for almost four months. I do apologise, but you know, sometimes you just need to take some time. Take some time for yourself. Yeah, take some time for yourself and just embrace healing. Because last year was not a good year for me. So, but this year it's looking a lot better. So, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Anyway, topic for today is to talk about the situation that's going on in Ukraine with Russia and what is happening to black people over there, okay? So unless you've been living underneath a rock, which I'm sure you have not, you would know that <clears throat> Russia is currently invading Ukraine, which is a country in Eastern Europe. So basically, everybody is in panic mode because they're seeing the BOMBS go off in Ukraine and it's crazy and Ukraine is basically saying, well, 18 to 60 year old boys, I mean men, um, they have to be enlisted into an army in order to defeat Russia. So, as I was saying about, as I was saying about black people, there are currently African people and Afro Caribbean people who are currently stuck in Ukraine. They are trying, they are trying to make their way to Poland. However, what has been happening is essentially Poland is saying no. They're saying no to African people. They're saying no to Afro-Caribbean people. They're basically treating. They're basically treating black people like they always treat us, like not even second-class citizens, third-class citizens, even below, even below an animal. That is how bad they are currently treating black people at the moment in these Eastern European countries. We should not be surprised. However, you would think that common decency will prevail and stop them from treating us like shit, considering the fact there is a war going on, but apparently no. Imagine there are people who are in the Ukraine right now, black people and their governments from Nigeria, Jamaica, wherever they come from, are basically doing some foolishness like for take jamaica for example the jamaican government before this whole war broke out they said they said if jamaican students want to leave the ukraine then they need then they need to apply for this loan that the jamaican government gave to them so they can buy plane tickets to go back to jamaica just because those students turned it down and now there's a whole lot of uproar in Jamaican Twitter of people saying, well, why should we, why should we as taxpayers fund the bill for them to leave the Ukraine? Nobody told them to go over there. Right. So you mean to tell me that you as a taxpayer, right, is saying that you do not want your fellow Jamaican citizens to leave, to leave a country where war is going on? Tell me how that makes sense, though. Tell me how you ask that it makes sense. It don't make no sense, does it? Because taxpayers fund the government and then the government is supposed to do a job for us. Ain't that right? So, but you as a taxpayer saying, why should you fund? Well, first of all, that's what the government is there for. If you are a citizen of a country who goes abroad to study, that government of the country that you came from has to get you out of that country if there is a, if there is a situation. And as we know, there is a major situation going on right now. And I could not stay silent. I had to come back to YouTube to talk about this because absolutely not are we staying silent on a situation like this when black people are involved. Are you crazy? You know me. You know I'm not one to shy away from certain topics like this. So I had to come on here. Even if it only gets two views, I still had to get my, I still had to get all this shit off my chest because it does not make any sense to be seeing black people being victimised and treated appallingly when war is going on. Like imagine, big, big 2022, 20, we've been dealing with the pandemic, dealing with COVID-19 for two freaking years. And now we're dealing with a war and there are Jamaican people in Ukraine who are just trying to get to safety and they've been told no, they mean blocked from going on the trains. Yeah, they're being banned from going on the trains. 
Like, I've seen the pictures and the videos, so you cannot tell me nothing. Because I know there's going to be racist flooding these comments. You can't tell me nothing. And sure, we're not only saying, we are not only saying that anti-blackness is the only reason for this, for this treatment. We're not saying that other ethnicities are not dealing with, are not dealing with this same persecution, this same, this same appalling abhorrent behavior we're not saying that we're simply we're simply speaking out for black people because black people who are going through this shit in ukraine are not able to speak out for themselves because they're trying to preserve their phone batteries they're trying to preserve their phone batteries they're trying to make sure they get to safety they're trying to make sure that they can get in contact with their family and friends who are back in jamaica or in nigeria or whatever other countries they came from and yet what what is actually being done now Andrew, the prime minister of jamaica what are you doing for your citizens what are you doing okay that's what i want to know what are you doing for your citizens because you're your citizens you see them in danger and you are not charting a flight to get them out of there what kind of prime minister are you that's what i honestly want to know yeah, because you should be ashamed that the PNP party in Jamaica is the one that is donating money to get those students out of the country. It is not their responsibility as the opposing party of Jamaica to get them out of that country. It's your job as the government, as in you are in control of Jamaica. It is your job to get them out of that country. And you are letting yourself be embarrassed. Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed that an opposing party had to give them money because you saying you're trying to give them a loan? And the thing is, this money that this money that the PNP party are giving, they don't have to pay that back. This is one thing the government is embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. And this is thus further proof. This is thus further proof that they don't actually care they don't actually care about the citizens you've you spending more time preparing for um prince william and his wife kate to go to jamaica for their little for the little for the little colonialism tour around around the freaking islands but when it comes to but when it comes to your own black citizens then you have an issue then you don't want to help them oh sure yeah let's make jamaica look real nice for these white people because because you um because the queen is still the head of state but when it comes to black people you're not concerned hmm now that's just real that's just real real really funny to me it's really funny to me it's highly ironic that we are pre-colonialism slavery is over and yet these some of these countries where the queen is still the head of state is spending more time spending more time worrying about these white people going over there but when it comes to their own citizens who are black it's like wow you can just get a loan and everybody knows a loan has to pay back and before anyone starts the reason why those black students are in the ukraine is because it's cheaper to study medicine there and other things than it is to study in their own countries now that's another issue that we should be talking about why is it more expensive to study in your own country than it is to study in a eastern european racist country why is that I mean, nobody should be surprised at the end of the day that racism exists. We know racism exists. Even here in the United Kingdom where I live, on this dusty island, there is a, load, there's a whole load of racism that goes on. There is a whole load of racism that goes on. But Eastern European, their brand of racism is just, it, it's even worse than here in the United Kingdom. Not to say, before anyone tries me, that's not to say that the united kingdom's racism is not bad but eastern european countries i've heard some tales and i'm not visiting them i'm not going to poland i'm not going to ukraine i'm not going to russia none of those countries sorry no sir mm -mm. nope nope and like someone put this picture on twitter and it was basically about these countries right here in right here in europe so they had the united kingdom which was in green which means that there's more positive thoughts about 
that there's apparently more positive thoughts about black people and other ethnicities positive thoughts in the united kingdom about black people i mean unless you're talking about david lammy because you know what type of black person they're referring to you know the good immigrant but i don't know about that um and of course the eastern european countries were in red personally i believe that all the, those countries in europe should be red the united kingdom should also be red because you know you've heard some stories stephen lawrence mark duggan i can go on all freaking day you understand me i can go on all day talking about the racism that happens in this country and what happens after a black person dies but let them gas up your head it's so time and it's so frustrating to have to deal with this situation on a day-to-day -day basis that's just simple racism in our day-to-day -day lives but this during a war where your where safety is is paramount they don't care they're like treating it they're like pushing us to the back of the line oh we're gonna make sure all the white people get safe first yeah we're gonna make sure all the white people get safe first and then you black people you can go somewhere else like where the hell they're supposed to go they're stuck the borders are closed if you feel me the borders are closed so where are these black people supposed to go if the borders are closed if it's hard for even ukraine if it's hard for even ukrainians to even leave and now the black people are stuck there as well having to be dealing with this racism be told that being told that they can't go to poland being being blocked from getting on these trains <sighs> and then there's women there's women with their little little children like babies being fed in these freezing cold temperatures like three degrees at night time or early in the morning Having to be dealing with this situation, having to find, having to find food, having to find food, taking time to make sure their children are warm enough, and you are treated, you are being racist. You are being racist, and all these people are trying to do is survive. You're trying to survive as well. Would it not make more sense to cooperate with these people than to be than to be a racist than be a racist mother scunts? Would that not make more sense? Would that not make more sense to cooperate with people? Allow them, allow them to come out of the country because you hate them anyway. So why would you want them to stay in your country? Like, let's make it make sense. Why would you want them to stay in the country if you hate them? I mean, they have a right to be there. They have a right to be there because they're working and studying. But at the same time, would you not want them to leave? But instead, you're trapping them in that country so you can then treat them even more appallingly. <sighs> but you know, that is it. That is my thoughts on the situation. I had to get it out. I had to get it out because I can't. I can't stay silent on a situation like that. I truly cannot stay silent on a situation like that. And if you think I can stay silent, then you really don't know me. I mean, I know I've been silent for the past three months, but hey, I explained that. So what can I say? Anyway, it's me, Skin Glow and Afro. I'm signing out. So please let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I shall see you next week for some more YouTube videos. Peace.